So the app that we were trialing didn't work in the context of, of the way that we trialled it. So I think the implications for researchers are that we need to design studies more intelligently to capture what's really going on when a child is working with a piece of educational technology. Well, that's the message to researchers, I, I guess. It's about thinking more intelligently about study design. And then for practitioners, I suppose, I think we want to get away from this kind of um, skill you know, boxes of skills kind of approach to learning and think more pervasively about how technology can provide a learning environment that spans the, the, the kind of um, the individual child's learning goals. And I think it's very hard to reach commercial operators because, you know, they're not reading academic journals, for example. But I am very concerned about the number of commercial developers creating technologies for autism that haven't been properly kind of grounded in theoretical models or properly evaluated. So I'd love to do better at kind of reaching out to that group.